Hello my friends and welcome to a new video. This is the start of a series of five videos of cool design trends that you can do very easily for 2018. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria. Let's get started. By the way, I'm uh, recording now with OBS and I have uh, ozone elements as an effect to have a better sound for my voice. So tell me if you like that or not. Okay, let's get started with the first design trend and that is the retro neon look. It's super fun. It's very easy to do. You can see I have your skateboarder. One thing that I want to suggest to you is search for a picture uh, that has um, good of a range of contrast basically in the main subject that you want to use like this guy here. So if he is in the shadows, everything is black, it's not gonna work as well. And also you want to set the picture to black and white if it is in color. Uh, to do that, I would go here to adjustments, use black and white, not the HSL with the desaturation because this just gives you a black and white version, but the black and white adjustment like this one actually gives you different settings uh, so you can decide which colors should have which kind of black and white grade basically. Okay, we don't need that because the picture is already black and white and you can see um, our picture doesn't even reach the edges of our um, canvas, which is not a problem because what we're going to do is we're going to use our lasso tool or as it's called in Affinity Photo, the freehand selection tool. We are going to go to the polygonal mode and we are going to do a very rough selection of this guy. The reason why we do a very rough, rough selection of the guy is because what we want to have is a look like we would cut this out with scissors from paper. Um, so it shouldn't be pixel perfect. It's just around the corners and some can overshoot like you can see here. So that's really not a problem. Just cutting out this guy real quick. There we go. And um, then we're gonna separate him from the background basically. So let's do this. There we go. Okay, this is the selection. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste that guy. And there we have him. This is just him. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use our rectangle tool and draw it over all of the picture. And we're gonna set it to a strong neon color like this, for example, pretty extreme. Now we're gonna push the guy onto it and we're gonna make a second rectangle that we are going to pull. Oops, I moved that one, that wasn't intended. Uh, let's do a second rectangle. Is there a second rectangle? Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna set it to another strong neon color like this yellow and push the uh, layer over the guy. Um, actually, we're not pushing it over the guy, we're pushing it onto the guy. So the guy is serving as a cutout to limit um, the borders of our neon yellow layer or rectangle. And we can set that, um, for example, to darken, you can play around with the different uh, blend modes, see what you like, uh, what is good for you. So there's different choices, but darken often works. You can see darken has a problem with darker areas, so they become really black. Uh, but on the other side, in the light areas, things stay pretty, um, how can I say, um, very neon. So that's kind of nice. So we'll stay with that one. And the next thing basically now that we're going to do is that we are adding some text and the way we want to do it again, retro and retro means uh, back in the days they didn't have this pixel exact uh, tools. Uh, so um, stuff was a little bit rougher also for the printing process. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we are just making a box again with our rectangle tool. We're setting the fill call to black this time and uh, then we can, uh, put the text in here. So let's set this to black. Um, so it's Arial and black is the, how, how do you say, the fattest version of the font. So uh, let's write here, go wild. There we go. And we are gonna set this as a fill color to our background color actually. Oh, and I want to have this actually in all, um, how do you say, all large fonts, large, um, yeah, letters. Go wild, there we go. Uh, actually, I wanna have three words. What are we gonna write? Um, let's, let's write 
we go wild. There we go. Uh, the reason is because I want to have here a color change that's going back to our neon. Gonna pick it from here so it's similar uh, to what we already have. And then um, let's pull out the background like this or the box. And then we can select both of them and we can go up here to arrange and go center one, center two, click on OK. So it's centered in both directions. And then we can go and hit Control G on our keyboard to group this text. And if you want, you can of course rotate it in a wild angle wherever you want and you can move this guy around. This is why it doesn't matter if the picture was the same size as the canvas because now we can go and move the guy, for example, over here. We can put the text there and uh, we can um, copy the text, put in some other stuff. Let's go here. Let's say this, um, I don't know, Monday. There we go. And again, make the box bigger and select both of them. There we go. And again, center, center, okay. So we have this. Um, again, actually here we could change um, the text color maybe to a third color. Let's go with the strong blue. There we go. Um, and we can make this group if you want a little bit smaller like this. There we go, so that's very nice. Okay, cool. So as you can see, this is a super easy um, retro style effect um, that you can do. Now comes some extras that you can do to make it even more uh, crazy. So uh, what you could do, for example, is if you have this rectangle here, if you right click on it, uh, you can say convert to curves. And convert to curves will allow you that these are all single individual points that you can move around individually. So when you go over here to your note tool on the left side in the toolbar, as you can see, if I click that, uh, now I can take them and I can move them around and make the box a little bit more crazy, as you can see. So uh, this can be fun if you want it. You don't have to do it, but this is kind of an extra thing that you can do um, with your design to get it a bit more strange, a bit more punk style, a bit more irregular, all these kind of things, as you can see. So that can be pretty interesting. Of course, we can do the same thing uh, with the other box. So you click on the rectangle, then you right click, you click on the rectangle layer, then you right click on the rectangle and select convert to curves. And then you use your note tool on the left in your, um, how do I say, toolbar. And now you can drag out these corners, as you can see. So that can be pretty cool, can be pretty interesting. And um, here comes another thing that you can do. Actually, this is a bit too sharp for my taste, gotta say. Uh, where's my... Come on, give me the point. There we go. All right, um, another thing that you can do is um, you can go in here to live filters and you can select something that's called halftone. Halftone, uh, there we have it. And I'm gonna um, drag it down onto our guy. And as you can see, this is creating these um, classic dots as prints have been uh, in the past. So um, you shouldn't make them too small because then you have a problem with the screen resolution and stuff like that, uh, maybe even with the printing process. Uh, but you can make them bigger and of course you can then blend them with the background if you want to. Uh, and you have a different range of, let's set it to overlay real quick. Uh, you have a different um, range of screen types, as you can see. So you have dots, you have lines, you have circle, you have, you have color. So let's try all of them. This is dots, as you can see. Then we have lines like this, which also can look like a retro screen. So that's pretty nice uh, if you make the um, make them smaller. Um, another thing that's important to, to look at is that you can still make out what you're actually seeing in the picture. Then you can have circular, which gives this kind of circle in the middle. And um, the, the, the last one is color, which gives you these color dots. And this can be especially interesting because it's even more retro and has this kind of a misprint kind of feel to that. Um, if you want to have it less intense, of course, what you can do is reduce the pass opacity um, to blend it a little better with the background. Uh, so 
basically this is what you can do to create this um, retro design style that is coming back in 2018 or it's already here um, but this is how you can do it you can see it's super easy you can add more elements uh, to the design if you want to so you're super free with that and as you've seen it's super easy to do it's super fun to do so experiment with it show me your results i'm really looking forward to see what you're doing with that Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode where we are going to talk another design trend for 2018 and that is the glitch effect in pictures. So thank you very much. See you in the next episode. Bye.